Welcome again. We're going through Luke chapter 11. We're on verses 27 and 28 here. So this is like another little nugget of spiritual gold here. What an awesome thought. Who could be more blessed than Mary, the mother of Jesus, or in the original Hebrew names, Miriam, the mother of Yeshua? Who could be more blessed than that? Think about it. Think about Mary, who gave birth to the Son of God, gave birth to the Lamb of God, gave birth to the Mashiach, the Messiah. Think about the enormity of that that idea. Uh, you know, here is Jesus, or Yeshua, his original Hebrew name, that a man that polarizes more than any anybody that... I mean, in, in all of history, we've got Jesus. It seems like everybody's got their own version of Jesus. So Jesus is like the most popular uh, man that has ever lived. It is a man who split the Gregorian calendar in half, you know, between A.D. and B.C. And so here we got a, what a concept, a wonderful thing to think about. Who can be more blessed than Mary? You know, as uh, it was once said before, here's Mary who carried this, the son of... Here is Mary who gave birth to this baby, carrying this baby who carries the world. Here's Mary who delivered a, bear, a baby who will deliver her. Uh, what an awesome concept, okay? Um, you know of that song, Mary Did You Know? I mean, that's an awesome song, Mary Did You Know? Uh you know, the, 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 the full extent of this baby, the full extent of, of this son that you bore. So verse 27, let's, let's get around to reading this. It came to pass as he, that's Jesus, said these things, a certain woman out of the multitude lifted up her voice. So she was loud and she said to him, blessed is the womb that bore you and the breast which nursed you. Wow. I mean, what an awesome thought. Blessed is Mary, the mother of Jesus. How blessed, how blessed is Miriam? How blessed is she? Now, Jesus could have said, again, you got to think about what was said here and what wasn't said here. Jesus could have said, you're right. That's my mother. I honor my mother to the fullest extent. I am the Lamb of God, the Son of God, the Son of Man. I am the one who is the Messiah in Israel, the one who is to come. I am the first and the last. Yes, blessed is my mother Mary. But what it says here is something very, very shocking to some people. Verse 28 but he said, but he said, on the contrary, uh, what? <laughs> Jesus, you said on the contrary? Contrary to blessed is your own mother? What's, what could be more, uh, what can be contrary to that statement? On the contrary, blessed or blessed are those who hear the word of God. Now let's stop here for a second. I heard stories about people in other nations, uh, nations that are very hostile toward Christianity. And uh, I've heard stories about people who are who would basically do anything just for a page out of the Bible. I mean, they would give all of their all of their possessions to own one page out of the Bible. They would <laughs> climb over mountain and go through go uh, through valleys. And go through, you know, land and sea just to get one page of the scriptures. How much do we take for granted, people? How much do we take for granted? Jesus said, on the contrary, contrary to your thought that Mary would be blessed for being the mother of Jesus. Contrary to that. On the contrary, blessed are those who hear the word of God and, notice there's an and there, and keep it. Okay? What does that mean? 
that doesn't only mean just protect it and, and hold it dear to yourself, but obviously that means to actually obey it, to believe it, to walk it out, to make it your life, make it the breath that you breathe, make it your all, make it you know your life, your breath, your water, your bread, make it everything. On the contrary, blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. What a, what a thought. What an awesome, profound thing Jesus came back, you know, basically saying in reply to this woman. Could it mean that Jesus said, if you hear the word and you actually put it into practice and you do it and you hold it close to your heart and you obey it, could it mean that you could be just as blessed, if not more blessed, than Mary, the mother of Jesus herself? Awesome thought. I'll leave you with that. Once again, maybe God bless you as you think about these things and enlighten the eyes of your understanding and show you great and mighty things. Thanks again.